So today we are going to learn some basic commands about MATLAB plotting and their workings on the curve. So let's get started. At first we give codes to clear all the plots variable and a command available in the MATLAB window. At first we will plot a basic XY curve. I have already written a set of data for plotting. I will just copy and paste it on the screen. To plot this set of data in the Cartesian axis, we have to use plot function. In order to indicate x axis, we will give a title, let's say x, by using x level function. And similarly for y axis, we can use the y level function to give the title y. To give a heading for entire graph, we can use the title function. Let's give the heading x versus no. Actually, y versus x graph. Let's run the code. A figure will pop up which contains the graph plot. So, our title is given as y versus x curve. And you can identify x axis as x and y axis as y. To see the grid view of the curve, we can write grid on function. So, here you can see the grid view is turned on. To see the curve in discrete value, we use the stem function instead of plot. Now the curve is showing in discrete value in the figure. If you want to change the color of the plot, let's say we want it in red, then we can use R for red, B for blue and Y for yellow. Similarly for plotting the curve in the form of stair, we can use stair function. As you can see, the amplitude in the figure is in the form of stair. If we want logarithmic plot in both x and y axis, then we can use log log function. Ok, let's go back to the previous. Let's say I want to put a text in a specific point in the curve. Let's say at the 2-3 point, I can do this by text function. Here 2,3 specifies the location of the text and the text is point. Let's run the program. Here you can see a text name point has been put on the graph at 2,3 point. If you want to put a text anywhere in the graph by using the mouse then you can do it by using gtext function. As you can see, the mouse point is visible on the graph and you can move it anywhere you want and put the text in there. If I want to draw a new figure along the existing figure, then I can do this by adding figure function to the code. Let's say I want to draw some axis in the new figure. I can do this by using axis function, setting the limit of the axis. limit in the x and y axis is same as it is in the code. If you want to create the same axis in the existing figures then we can by erasing the figure function. Let's run the code. As you can see the same axis has been created in the figure 1 as it was in figure 2. Now if I want to print this figure in the PDF format for that I need to call the print function and give the file name that's a plot xy dot pdf and type the file type minus gpdf let's run the code this will create a pdf in a very specific location generally the pdf is created in the c drive where you have installed the application This is the PDF version of the plotted figure which can be used for various purposes. If you want your plotted graph in a JPG or PNG format then you can do it by changing the file format only. File name is not important.
This will create an image of the figure in PNG format in the same location as before. So here is an image of the figure 1 of the code. Let me clear this and move on to the next step. Now our figure is in the grid view but this grid is not in regular size. For smaller size we can use grid minor. Here as you can see in the figure the grid is in the regular size as the graph paper. Here in the graph 00, 0 point or the origin point is in the corner of the graph. Let's say we want to move it in the center. In order to do that we have to use the axis function and set our x and y axis to desired limit. Let's fix the limit of x axis from minus 10 to 10 and the limit of y axis from minus 20 to 20. Also for starting from the origin we add 0, 0 points to the code. Here you can see our origin is at the middle of the graph and it is equal distance from both axes x and y. Here the limit of the x axis is from minus 10 to 10 and the limit of the y axis is from minus 20 to 20. Let's erase these things to proceed to our next step. So our second step is curve fitting. For the curve fitting window you have to write CF tool on the command window. A curve fitting window will appear. So select X from X data and Y from Y data. Select the type of the equation for the curve fitting. Let's say polynomial. Then the degree let's say 3. So here we have the desired polynomial equation. Here P1, P2, P3 and P4 are the coefficient. You can also open the curve fitting window from the app section at the top. Let's move on to our third part where we will try to plot two curves in a single plot. In order to do that we will copy the data for the second curve. And paste it on the screen. And to plot the data, we will write plot x1, y1. If we want the two plots to be in the same figure, then we need to add hold on to the code. Let's run the code. As you can see, the two plots is in the same figure while both x axis is similar and in the y axis they have different color. For the first curve it's red and for the second curve it's blue. But there is only one problem that it is difficult to identify the plots. For easy identification we will use the legend function. Let's declare y1 for the red curve and y2 for the blue curve. Let's run the program. Here as you can see y1 indicates the red curve and y2 indicates the blue curve. So it is easy to understand which curve is which. Let me clear this and move on to the next step. And move on to the fourth and the last part of the tutorial where we will try to plot separate curves in separate plots. Let's just copy the data. Here we will plot three curves in three separate plots. Now we need to specify the position of the plot. For this we will use the subplot function. Subplot 2 to 1 means it will divide the figure into a 2 cross 2 matrix, matrix where there will be four elements and the, this plot will be placed in the elements once place. And subplot 2 to 3 means this plot will be placed in elements 3 place.
subplot 2 to 4 means this plot will be placed in the element sports place. Let's run the code. As you can see the figure is divided into the four elements. Plots will be placed at 1, 3 and 4th position out of the 4 position available. Now we will take another subplot of 3 cross 2 matrix which will divide the figure into 3 cross 2 or 6 elements. We need to change only the row of the subplot as column is same as previous. Plots will be placed at 1, 3 and 4 position out of 6 position available in the figure.